We are truly blessed to have such a great audience. We thank you for staying tuned to the channel week after week as we try to serve you with fresh content. Nicholas Sumter as well as Imani Sumter were very generous in their giving. Enjoy the episode. I say God came in to the situation. Praise the name of my God. And you better stop acting cute. Praise on trying to look Presbyterian and trying to look Catholic. Those are the folks who enslave you. You need to thank Pentecostal, honey. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. You need to act Pentecostal and shout until your shoes drop off. And praise him until your mouth gets tired. Thank you. He is worthy to be praised. And he will be praised. Because somebody is going to praise him. If you don't praise him, somebody is going to praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody that needs a miracle tonight, take your neighbor by the hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say what I say. He said I could ask for what I will. And he will do it. And I'm asking right now that this night, there's going to be a miracle in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be a miracle, Lord. Let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle in every home, in every heart, in every soul, in every mind. Break Satan's yoke. Break Satan's power. Catch them out. Drive him out. Send him out, Lord. Let the saints receive that miracle. Let them receive that miracle, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. We ask these blessings in Jesus' precious name. And everyone tell him thank you. Everyone tell him thank you. Tell it one more time. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This broadcast is coming to you from Solomon's Temple, the church in the heart of the city, with the people of the city in its heart, the church that blesses multitudes. It is as close as you can get to heaven and not be there. I've read a lot about heaven, but I don't think folks in heaven make as much joyful noise as we do down here. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Because the angels, they don't know how to praise him. Praise him. They ain't never been sinners. <laughs> We've been redeemed. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. We've been washed in the blood. And got something to praise him for. I tell you, I got so much to praise God for. Oh, wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Open your Bibles to Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Armageddon. Lord, help. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let no man deceive you, verse 3, by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exhorteth himself above all that is 
call God and uh, that is worshipped so that he as God sitting in the temple of God showing himself that he is God remember ye not that when I was yet with you I told you these things and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time for the mystery of iniquity that already worked but only him who not let it will let until he be taken out of the way then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan with all power signs and lying wonders with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because that they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Verse 11 as we look at the future we're looking at the coming of the battle upon the Gideon. And as we look close enough, we can see the things that must take place before that awful day comes. Because it's going to be a terrible day, the battle of Armageddon. The blood of men would run like water upon the earth. The blood of men would run like water streams of blood they will die in such numbers until the blood will run like a stream soak in the earth with the blood of men and in that setting the Bible speaks to the point that the Lord will call for what he's called a supper a feast and he's going to invite the fowls of the air. He's going to invite the birds, the beasts of the field. And he says to them, come, I have provided a supper for you. And the fowl of the air are going to come in millions. The beasts of the field of the forest shall come and eat the flesh of millions of people who will die in that battle. So many people will die in that battle until it will take six to seven months just to bury their remains because the birds and the beasts of the field will eat the flesh. The Bible say of mighty men, captains, kings, I'm going to provide a supper for the whole beast world and the vile world to come and gorge themselves on the flesh of men. Can you imagine God doing that to men? I know you can't, but it's true. Don't ever make God angry. Never. Don't provoke him. Don't anger him. Keep God looking in your direction with a smile. Let him smile at you. Let him say to you like he said to me, Hail, the Lord is with you. <laughs> Blessed art thou. That's what you want to hear from the Lord. Hail. Hail, sister. <laughs> Hail, brother. <laughs> Hail, my children. 
That's what you want to hear. You don't want the Lord's judgment because it's a terrible thing. Coming up to that battle of Armageddon is that period of wickedness. Then shall that wicked be revealed. Then shall that wicked be revealed. Which means made manifest. Being able to see it. Then shall that wicked be revealed. Hallelujah. Whom the Lord shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That wicked being revealed. This is the time now. In the Old Testament, the thing that brought Israel into the judgment seat of God, that he turned his back on Israel, was the kind of preachers filled the land. And they were called false prophets. They were everywhere. There were so many false prophets until God became so sick of those prophets until he began to prophesy against not the people but against the prophets because the prophets were the ones who corrupt the land. A false prophet is nothing but a liar. That's all he is. Just a plain old liar. Can't tell the truth, won't tell the truth. Whatever he prophesies, it's a lie. Whatever he say God said, it's a lie. That's why he's called a false Hallelujah. Listen to these words. This is what America is going to come to. Verse 10, chapter 23 of the book of Jeremiah. For the land is full of adulterous, and because of swearing, the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their cause is evil, and their face is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house they have found wickedness. I have found wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore their ways be unto them slippery waves in darkness they shall be driven on and fall therein for I will bring evil upon them now this is God talking about what he's going to bring upon these false prophets even the the year of that visitation saith the Lord I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. I have seen what? Folly. They are full of folly. They're full of worldliness. They're full of deceit. They're a bunch of liars. You can read more of it as you have time. Verse 16, thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets, for they prophesy unto you, they make you vain. Now imagine a preacher and a prophet making folks evil. Making them what? Vain. Making them worthy. Your mind is not on spiritual things. Your mind is on material things. They make you vain. The, you go to church to, to hear a prophet tell you what good luck you're going to have. Praise the Lord. Now he's a good prophet if he prophesy Alexis for me. He 
Elisha, I got a house for me. He's a good prophet. Praise the Lord. And this is the prophet that the Lord called a liar. Praise the Lord. Prophesy unto you, they make you vain. They speak the vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. Verse 21, I have not sent these, what, prophets. And yet what happened to them? They ran. They went everywhere. I haven't sent them. Said, Lord. I didn't even call them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I didn't call them. But they everywhere. Prophesied, preaching. The land is full of them. The land is full of them. This is how Israel went astray. And this is what's going to happen. As we come closer and closer to the battle of Armageddon, to the tribulation period, the false prophets must come, and they are here. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. They are here. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesy. You know, a prophet is not supposed to say nothing unless the Lord tells him to say it. He's supposed to shut up, praise the Lord. And just sit there until the Lord says, speak now. And speak the things that I put in your mouth. Praise the Lord. Because I am not a man, I'm not a liar, said the Lord. I don't tell lies. The Antichrist is the lying demon. I am not a liar, I am the truth, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. So the prophets are everywhere. Verse 23, I am a God at hand, says the Lord, and not a God for all. Can any hide himself in the secret place that I shall not see him, said the Lord? Do not I feel heaven and earth, said the Lord? I heard what the prophets said. They prophesy what? Lie. In what? In my name. Oh, God. Now, when you start lying in the name, in that holy name, when you want to pull off something, you know what I mean? And you want folks to believe it, you put the Lord's name there and say, the Lord said it. <laughs> the Lord said it. All right. They prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have what? Dreamed. I have dreamed. Oh, God. That's why I say to every preacher, if you, if you had a dream you were preaching, don't go preach. Praise the Lord. Please, don't take a dream and go preach. The devil sure sent you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If God wants you to preach, he'll call you. He'll call you by your name. Praise God. And he'll say emphatically, absolutely, and positively. Praise the Lord, I've called you. And not only will he say it, he'll make you feel it. Make you feel it. Praise the Lord, thank you. So, all of these false prophets... Verse 30, therefore, behold, I'm against the prophets, said the Lord, that steal my words, every one of them from his name. They take my word and steal it and put that word in there. My word is not preached anymore. They are preaching their word. They have stole my word out. Of the mouth of the believers and put their words in there and this is what has happened to the believers believers walking around saying my pastor said my pastor said my pastor said when you gonna get around to say jesus said jesus said huh Thank you, praise the lord the power is in what jesus said that's why the devil don't respect saints anymore because you're using the wrong name. The pastor doesn't have a name that the devil respects. The name is Jesus. 
praise the name of our God. If you want the devil to listen to you and obey you, put Jesus. Jesus, but I don't know who you are. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, this man was such a liar that even the devil didn't know him. And if you're a lying prophet and the devil don't know you, you going over the wall <laughs> because Satan is the father of lies. Praise the Lord. And here is a man not even the devil know who he is. <laughs> oh God help us now <laughs> Jesus keep me near the cross <laughs> thank you and then the sisters got in it they started prophesying <laughs> Lord help us now they said, if, if, if man can prophesy, I can prophesy. So they got in it too. They got in it too. The women started prophesying. I'm going to give you the scripture. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> the women started prophesying. They started, and they just prophesied. And they just prophesied and prophesied. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And they pulled the people away from God from the righteousness of God. The women did to that prophet. And just like the men did it, the women start doing it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because a, a prophet is a person that is above all. Above everybody. No one is above the prophet. The king is not above the prophet. The king is subject to the prophet. This has always been the case. Look at Babylon. Babylon had to be subject to Daniel because Daniel was the prophet. Nebuchadnezzar had to be subject to Daniel. Even though they put Daniel in the lion's den, he still had to be subject to Daniel. Because Daniel was God's man. They couldn't pay Daniel to lie. Praise the Lord. They couldn't pay Daniel to mess with God's order. Praise the Lord. Daniel was a true prophet. And he was above Nebuchadnezzar. And D Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar, said, God, gonna take you down man God gonna make an animal out of you he gonna make you get out on your hands and knees and crawl like a dog he gonna make you eat grass like a cow and lap water like a dog for seven years now this is this is a prophet talking to a king praise the Lord the king didn't like it but he couldn't do nothing about it pray when you speak for God speak honey praise God hallelujah, hallelujah. speak hallelujah. No matter who don't like it, speak. Praise the Lord. Say what God told you to say. Spit it out. Praise it. Even if your mama don't like it, say, Mama, this is the word. Even if your father don't like it, Daddy, this is the word. Lord, I praise. And then look in the mirror and say, Look at here, so and so and so. This is the word. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. All right. So the women got into it and they started prophesying. I said, where is that fine pastor, Bonner? Ezekiel 13. Praise God. <laughs> hey. Verse 17. Likewise, thy son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own hearts, and prophesy thou against them. Prophesy against the daughters. These are the women who wanted the power over the men. I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Praise your heart. God has never given a woman power over man. And I didn't write the Bible. Don't blame me for that. Praise the Lord. God ain't never give a woman power over a man. The head of the woman is the man. The head of man is Christ. And the head of Christ is God. I didn't write that either. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. So likewise, some of men set their face against the daughters of the people which prophesy out of their own heart, for they prophesy 
sign prophesies that against and prophesy that against them and say thus said the Lord God woe to the women who sow pillows to all what do your sister know what that is and make kerchiefs upon their head and every stature they hunt souls you know what when a woman hunts a soul you know what she's hunting them for shall I leave that alone <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> will you hunt the soul of my people will you save the souls alive that come unto me all right the daughters are prophesying lies the men are prophesying lies both daughters and sons are prophesying lies now this is what's going to happen before the tribulation period comes this is going to lead us into the tribulation period the pivot of false prophets and false prophetess there are more prophetess in the pulpit today than there has ever been since the beginning of grace everywhere you look there is a woman who is a bishop now she has they have apostles as women today praise the lord they have pastors as women praise the lord they are in positions that god never gave them god never put a sister over the church he always put men over the church read your bible he called 12 apostles and all of them were men every last one of them and jesus wanted you on the board of apostles he would have put you on the board of apostles praise the, i didn't hear nothing praise the name of our god hallelujah thank you jesus all right let's leave that now <laughs> This is the age of lying in all churches. Lying. Pentecostal churches, no exceptions. Denominational churches, Catholic churches, Protestant churches, pulpits are full of liars. The Bible tells you that. These are the last days. Perilous times shall come. Men shall be lovers of themselves. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. The pulpit are full of preachers today who don't know nothing about talking in tongues, who don't know nothing about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, don't know nothing about being born again. Cigarette suckers, praise the Lord. Wine oars, praise the Lord. In the pulpit, fornicators, lover boys, Casanovas. Praise the name of our God. The pulpit is full of these kind of folks. Sisters, my God, they're everywhere. In the pulpit, everywhere. Switching sisters. Praise the name of our God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. These are the evil times. These are the ungodly times. Coming up to that period called the period of tribulation praise the name of god and we are in the shadows of that period right now the false prophet period this is that false prophet period that we're in right now that you're going to have to search for the truth you won't be able to go in any church and find the truth oh lord i praise you you're going to have to search for it you're going to have to go to this church and see what they preach over there and you're going to have to go to that church and see what the preacher you just can't go to church any church and find the truth yes, praise the name of my god you're going to have to look for the truth you're going to have to search for the truth praise and i'm not exaggerating i'm telling you the truth and many of the saints today are searching for a church that let them do what they want to do and live the way they want to live and dress the way they want to dress Praise the name of our God. 
They are looking for a church. They're going from church to church to see what the standard is. And if the standard, if the standard is too high, I don't want to be a member here. If the standard is low, yeah, I want a right hand of fellowship. Praise the name of our God. But when you talk about the church, the church is the body of Christ. Praise the man church doesn't count. It's the true church. It is the spiritual organism. It is the ecclesia. That's the church. If you are not in that church, you may wasting your time being a member of any man's church. You ought to be a member of the body of Christ. And the only way you can be a member of the body of Christ is to be baptized in Jesus' name. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. I didn't hear what you said. Praise the name of our God. And tarry until the Lord filled you with the Holy Ghost. And I don't mean no dead, 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 dead. I'm talking about the toes. Praise the name of our God. Woo, hallelujah. You need the tongues, baby. The tongues that are spoken by heaven and not by earth. Man's tongues are earthly tongues. Other tongues is heavenly tongues. And you do not have the Holy Ghost until you talk in that heavenly language. When you speak in that heavenly language, the devil know you got it. Praise the name of our God. I say hell know you got it. And everybody else know you got it. You can't get the Holy Ghost and nobody around you know you got it. Praise the Lord. Honey, when you get receive the Holy Ghost, everybody know you in there. They know you ain't squirting around the corners no more. You in the church, honey. And these languages start coming out, coming out, coming out. Praise the Lord. You can't stop them. And you don't want to stop them. They just keep jumping out. You try to shut your mouth and the Holy Ghost opened your mouth. Praise the name of our God. Oh, hallelujah. And some of y'all need to speak again. You've been six years since you spoke in tongues. Praise the name of our God. You have lost something. You need to speak tonight, honey. Praise the name of our God. When I anoint you and lay hands on you, you ought to tell the Lord, speak, Lord. Speak, 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 Lord. And when you start speaking, healing will start coming. Deliverance will start coming. The devil will start running. And the Lord will be glorified. Somebody say Holy Ghost. I said somebody say Holy Ghost. I said somebody say Holy Ghost. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Don't let the devil deceive you. For he's out to deceive you. Because this is the age of deceitfulness. This is the age that the devil is trying to deceive the very elect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, gee, he wants your testimony. But don't give it to him. Keep it. He's trying to shut you up because you're too free. Praise the Lord. He's trying to shut you up because you're too bold. Praise the Lord. You don't just look saved. You say you're saved. Praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. And not ashamed to say it. Because you know him in whom you believe. Praise his adobe. You know where he brought you from. You know what he got you out of. You know what he delivered you from. You know what you used to be. You used to be somebody that wouldn't fit in nobody's church. Praise the Lord. But look at you now. Singing in the choir. Talking about I've been redeemed. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Look at you now. Sitting up in church talking about I'm saved. 
sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. I got Jesus in my life and I'm running for my life. Oh, hallelujah. If anybody asks you what's the matter with me, just tell them I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, and I'm running for my life. I got a feeling that my running days are about to be over. I got to run while I can. I got to run while the blood running warm in the van. And I got to praise him while I can. Because I didn't praise him last year. I didn't praise him last week. But I'm going to praise him tonight. Because he's been good. Yeah. He's been good to me. He set my soul free. He broke my yoke, broke my chains, and I'm not going to sit here like the rock of Gibraltar and don't say nothing that Antichrist will deceive me. If I don't praise him, the false prophets will give me something else to talk about. So I'm going to praise him in his sanctuary. I'm going to praise him for his mighty power. I'm going to praise him for his mighty acts, for his excellent greatness. I'm going to praise him with my heart, with my tambourine. I'm going to praise him with my drum. I'm going to praise him with the sound of my voice I'm going to open my mouth and I'm going to let it come out of here out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water I'm going to let it come out of here because it's been good for me Satan you are lying you are not going to deceive me I'm not going to sit here and listen to what you have to say I'm gonna break away from you I'm gonna tell Jesus when I wake up in the morning hallelujah when I go to bed at night I'm gonna say thank you all during the day I'm gonna say Jesus you were the best thing that ever happened in my life Jesus you you my all, you my all, my all in all. So let somebody open up your mouth, open up your soul, open up your mind. Tell Jesus, thank you. Tell him hallelujah. Tell him glory. Tell him Jesus, you the best thing that ever happened in my life. Thank you, Jesus. While you're standing on your feet, take your neighbor by the hand say I came here to get a miracle tonight and believe me when I tell you I'm gonna receive it now praise him for it praise him for it Thank you, Jesus. 
be seated. It's time to be anointed. Hallelujah. Thank you. Time to be anointed. And to be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Satan don't want you to be blessed, but you tell him, <laughs> get out of my way. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be blessed. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. I came here to be blessed. I'm going to be blessed. <laughs> Oh, how are you? 